family lawn care business is in dire straits. Their work truck and trailer full of equipment was stolen over the weekend. Fox News Dave Spencer joins us live with a closer look at the investigation. How sad, Dave. Yeah, Terry, it was a rough morning for a father and son who are business partners as well as they found out that their $35,000 truck and trailer were both taken. Uh, but the good news is it's a highly recognizable truck and trailer and at least one of the thieves was caught on camera. Ken and Kenny Edwards run a father and son business called Blade Masters Yard Maintenance. It's the greatest thing uh, I think a father could ever experience is being a partner with their son. That means they both go through the ups of having plenty of business and the downs, like what happened Monday morning. We service over 100 customers, and so this morning we got up to go service those Monday customers, and uh, there was no truck, trailer, or equipment to service them. As they went to get into their work truck and trailer, I was so stunned I actually looked around the yard to see if maybe one of us misplaced it. Maybe I was just not seeing it. It's a 14 foot enclosed trailer with okay. our logo on both sides, the bag and logo on the truck and it's, it's a billboard. $35,000 worth of stuff was stolen. It's a recognizable truck and trailer filled with two mowers, blowers, weed whips and other tools accumulated over the past two decades. We really need our stuff back. This is our livelihood. Right. This is what we pay our bills with and feed our family with. The person responsible caught on camera prowling around their home in Warren near 14 Mile and Van Dyke. You see the videos of them prowling, prowling around on our patio. It scares you. I know somebody out there knows, and I'm hoping that they can uh, help us out. This whole experience is something new to them. We even helped a guy out, helped start a business, a uh, long care business, who had some uh, equipment stolen. And uh, when it happens to you, it's a really horrible feeling. They're offering up a $1,000 reward for the return of their equipment. And they've set up a GoFundMe account so they can get back to work. We just went to a lawn care company, uh, store this morning and, yeah, they barely have anything left. Yeah. So we don't even know if we're going to be able to replace things. Yeah, certainly been a long day for this father and son duo who have been making phone calls all day to clients explaining what happened. They also made a phone call to warn police and started a report there. And they're asking anyone with information to please give the police department a call. Reporting live tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, Dave, do they think that they were targeted, that the thieves knew what they were going after? Yeah, they don't, actually, because next door there was another break-in, allegedly, that took place at their, at their neighbor's house where they broke into their vehicle, stole some medication, and then kind of wandered or meandered, according to their camera, on over and saw this trailer and all the stuff in it and just drove off with it. Well, hopefully someone will come forward with some information. That stuff will be located. Dave, thank you so much.